Picture a great social studies class. Here's what most of us imagine. A laboratory for democracy, one of our last public forums for citizenship and civil discourse, and a place that might save us from this. Not so fast. It turns out that nine out of 10 social studies classes don't feature discussion at all. It's true. So let's get constructive. We'll start by blaming the kids or blaming their parents. That's even more fun. Or best of all, let's blame teachers. But talk to any teacher who loves leading classroom discussions, and this is what you'll hear. Leading classroom discussions is really, really hard. Unless you have less than seven students in your class, and all of them read Chaucer just for fun. Let's talk about how hard it is. During a class discussion, a typical teacher has the use of precisely one brain. This brain needs to manage a big, subtle, complex subject such as ratifying the Constitution, the Grapes of Wrath, or maybe the use of ethanol. But during a discussion, that same brain has to do things like keep track of who has and hasn't spoken, keep track of what has been discussed, keep track of how long each student can speak, keep records of each student's understanding, keep records of each student's style of deliberating, set up a quick anonymous straw poll, set up small groups on the fly, and a million other tasks. But wait, don't forget the important subtle details about, was it? Ethanol? Do over. This time, imagine a teacher who is using something new, something we call Discussor. It's what we've been working on for 30 years. So let's take a look. We're going to focus directly on our teacher. You probably already have most of a Discussor in your classroom. A teacher's computer, student response devices, also known as clickers or cell phones, plus a projector. Let's say this teacher has planned a classroom discussion about say, international cyber warfare. She has decided to start with an open-ended question. This is what the kids will see. And then some kids will do this. And then this will happen. Then this. So I think that if we let the president declare cyber war... Oh good. The There's always that timer. Sasha is brilliant, but she can go on and on and on. Look, Johnny C, who never dares to raise his hand, he just clicked in. So far, no sea of waving hands, and the teacher's brain ready for action on top. Similar to conventional warfare. Look at this. As Sasha is talking, her personal discussion rubric automatically pops up on the teacher's screen. The brilliant Sasha sometimes wanders off subject, but not today. After a while, the teacher thinks that now might be a good time to conduct a quick straw poll, and this happens. Then this, and this. Oh my. Our teacher is feeling fearless today. She chooses this. And her computer quickly makes up perfect groups of five students, balancing the student's position on the issues and their speaking style. Soon, this is happening. And, our world is and then be sometimes, real. this. Of course, as always, up pops Adam K's rubric, or whoever else is talking. That is handy. And guess what? Today, this teacher has access to her entire brain to do the really important stuff. Hey Teach, that was great. What's it feel like? What you're doing, it's great work. It's a great profession.